pia bwana asifiwe tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya siku ya leo ametujaria umetupatia uhai na tuna sababu yote ya kumshukuru Mungu kumwambia ni asanti kwa sababu ni yeye ametuleta ubari huu ni yeye amekuwa pamoja nasi ametusaidia kwa hivyo mahali popote unapotupata na kulalibisha sana katika ibada ya siku ya leo hapa ni Destiny Kid Service chini ya mtumishi wa Mungu Apostle John Kimani William na Leveled Naomi na tunashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya wema na vadhili zake siku ya leo ninajua ya kwamba nitakuwa siku ya baraka tunapoendelea pamoja mahali popote ulipo hata kama uko hospitalini ama kama uko jera ama mahali popote ulipo nguvu za Mungu zitaingia mahali pale na tukijiashiria kwa Mungu ninajua siku ya leo tutapata kubarikiwa tutapata kuokolewa tutapata kuokolewa wale hawajaokoka wale ambao ni wagojo wako hospitalini wako manyubani ninajua ya kwamba siku ya leo tutapata uponyaji wetu Mungu aweze kutubariki pamoja na kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu tutaweza kuomba pamoja ili tuweze kuendelea na ibada yetu na najua ya kwamba tutapata kubarikiwa let's pray together Mungu wetu na baba yetu tunasema ni asanti kwa sababu ya wema na vadhili zako hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe wewe ndio umetuleta ubari huu wewe ndio umetuhifadhi umetupigania vita Mungu wetu na baba yetu umetuepusha na kifo na mambo mabaya ambayo ingetupata siku ya leo tumesimama tunasema ni asanti tunapoendelea na ibada tunaomba baraka zako Mungu wetu na baba yetu walio mahali popote wanatutazama wengine wamelemewa wengine ni wagojwa wengine bwana wa majeshi wamesukumwa na hali Mungu wetu na baba yetu nakulilia siku ya leo ya kwamba utakuja utatukomboa utakuja utatuponya wale hawajaokoka siku ya leo tunajua ya kwamba tutaomba ya kwamba kutakuwa na, 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 na wokovu kutakuwa Mungu wetu na baba yetu na kutembea kwa nguvu zako tunaomba uhai katika ibanda yetu ya siku ya leo tunakualika na tunaalika roho wa bwana utatu mtakatifu ili tuweze kubarikiwa tunakuinua tunalimidi jina lako na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata na kuamini tuseme amen amen so tutaingia tutasoma neno alafu tuingie kwa worship tuweze kumwabudu Mungu tukiwa pamoja ili tuweze kumuomba huyu Mungu ambaye tukimuinulia mikono yetu tukimuomba yeye huwa anasikia maombi yetu kwa hivyo tutasoma neno katika saburi Psalms Psalms chapter 51 uh -huh. tuko pale tumeweza kufungua biblia zetu in Psalms chapter 51 verse 10 Saburi hamsini na moja mstari wa kumi. Hebu tusome pamoja. Biblia inasema create a pure heart in me, O God, and put a new loyal spirit in me. Do not banish me from your presence. Do not take your holy spirit away from me. Give me again the joy that come from your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Kwa hivyo tunapoingia kwa maombi ni vizuri kila mtu aweze kujiobea kama muadiki huyu muadishi wa saburi Biblia inasema ya kwamba do not banish at create in create a pure heart in me ya kwamba moyo ambao unamwedea Mungu moyo ambao Mungu atasikia moyo ambao umwambie Mungu ni ondolee mambo yote ambayo pengine imeharibu moyo wangu mambo ambayo haikupedesi na Biblia inasema ya kwamba ninapokuja mbele zako <coughs> nikioba uponyaji ninapokuja mbele zako nikioba unisaidie nikioba uniongoze Mungu kama kama kuna ajabu ambao halikupedesi ninaomba uniubie moyo mpya moyo ambao nikikuinulia mikono utakupedeza umwambie bwana akusamehe bibi nasema ya kwamba hapo 11 do not banish me from your presence do not take your holy spirit away from me ya kwamba usiweze kuniondoa kuficha uzo wako kwako usiondoe roho wako mtakatifu kwangu kwa sababu itakuwa gumu sana kwa sababu katika hii safari maisha ambayo tunaishi kuna mambo magumu sana kuna uofu umeinuka bomo mazito kama hauna roho wa Bwana kama hutaabia roho wa Bwana akusaidie utakuwa na wakati mgumu sana na ndio hapa tunasoma tunamuomba Bwana atusaidie asituondolee roho wake mtakatifu kwetu kwa sababu roho wake ni mwalimu roho wake ni mwelekezi ndiye atatuelekeza katika mambo ambayo tunafanya ndiye atatuelekeza katika masomo yetu atatuelekeza katika jamii atatuelekeza mahali tunafanya kazi atatuelekeza mahali popote tutakapokuwa lile jambo lolote tutakalokuwa tukilifanya hapo 12 inasema 
give me again the, the joy that come from your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Bila loho wa buwana, utapata ya kuwa ba, huna, huna fulaha tena hata ya wakofu. Kwa sababu loho wa buwana hakikuwa dokea, utasikia hata kama pegine umeokoka, una, unasikia ya kuwa ba, huna laha tena, unasikia hata huna laha ya wakofu. Na bibi nasema ya kuwa ba, le, le, sto, le, le jesha sasa, ile, wo, ile gufu ya, ya wakofu, dani yagu, ni kupitia gufu za loho wako mtakatifu. Kwa hivyo siku ya leo, tunapo alika praise team, wa, wa, wa tuongoze, praise and worship team, wa tuongoze na njibo sa kumuabudu. Wakati tunapo muabudu buwana, edelea kumuliria buwana, muabia kusaidie, ili tuka, tunapo inua mikono yetu. Tunapo pia anza hata na kuwa muabudu buwana. Tunajua ya kwamba, mungu wetu atakuwa pamoja nasi, ata tuongoza na loho wake mtakatifu. Kwa hivyo, praise and worship team, kalibuni sana, mutuongoze na njibo sa kumuabudu buwana, ili tuede bele sa buwana.
tukiwa katika hiyo hali ya maombi tu, tuendelee kumulilia bwana venye tumemwabudu bwana tuendelee kuwa bele za bwana tumwambie bwana kama hata vile tumesoma in Psalms chapter 51 verse 10 ya kwamba tunamulilia bwana bila roho wake tunamulilia bwana usiondoe roho wako mtakatifu ndani yangu Daudi alikuwa anamulilia Mungu kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo alikuwa amefanya ambayo alikuwa shukisho ambayo haikumfurahisha Mungu Kito, ukisoma hapo nyuma utaona yale mambo ambayo Daudi alifanya na akaona ya kwamba haya mambo haijamfurahisha Mungu na sasa akaenda mbele za Bwana akamwambia Bwana usiondoe uzo wako kwangu alijua ya kwamba Mungu akimuondokea roho wa Bwana akimuondokea atakuwa mtu bure hatakuwa na uwezo tena hata kwa kwenda mbele za Bwana hatakuwa na ujasiri tena wa kwenda mbele za Bwana akamulilia Bwana usiondoe roho wako ndani yangu siku ya leo tumulilie Bwana ebu kiliosha kila mmoja wetu iwe ya kwamba Bwana atusaidia atatuwezesha ataweka zile nguvu za roho wake mtakatifu ndani yetu atatusaidia kwa sababu roho wa Bwana ndiye atakaye tuongoza ndiye atakayetusaidia kusema hapana katika nyakati hizi ambazo kuna uofu mwingi ambao umeinuka umekuja na jia nyingi umekuja umelebeshwa ume, ume kwa hivyo bila roho wa Bwana hautakuwa na discerning spirit ya kutabua hii ni baya na hii sio mzuri hii ni baya hii ni nzuri lakini ukiwa na roho wa Bwana atakusaidia kufafanua vile roho wa Bwana atakuelekeza kwa sababu roho wa Bwana hatakuelekeza hata kuelekeza kwa mambo mabaya tumulilie Bwana tumwambie ya kwamba oh usiondo tumulilie Mungu wetu tumwambie usiondoe roho wako ndani yetu Tusa, tunaomba utusaidie unajua bila roho wa Bwana tumesoma hapo tumeona ya kwamba hauna furaha tena ya wokofu kuna wengine siku ya leo hawana roho hawana furaha tena ya wokofu hata kusema Yesu ni Bwana imekuwa shida kwa sababu ya yale mambo wanapitia kwa sababu ya hawana gufu hawana uwezo tena tunamuomba Bwana siku ya leo usituondokee usiondoke ndani yetu usiwe usiwe bali nasi usifishe uso wako kwetu tunakulilia Bwana enda pamoja nasi katika nyakati hizi kuna mambo mazito tunaomba utusaidie tunaomba utuwezeshe lilia moyo wako hata kabla ya mambo mengine yote kwa sababu the determining factor ya kupata zile vitu zingine zote itatokana na vile moyo wako uko kwa sababu huwezi kufisha jambo lolote mbele za Mungu kwa hivyo mulilie Bwana mwambie Bwana niondolee jambo lolote ambalo ligenisuilia niweze kupata sisi baraka zako siku ya leo mwambie Bwana niondolee jambo lolote ambalo nishukisho niondolee jambo lolote ambalo halikupendezi ambalo linaweza kusuilia nipate uponyaji linaweza kusuilia niweze kufanikiwa katika maisha niweze kufanikiwa katika masomo yangu mwambie Bwana niondolee na uwe pamoja nami uniongoze na unisaidie kwa kila hatua kwa sababu ye ni Mungu mwema wakati tumeomba hilo ombi sasa ningetaka tuendelee kumulilia Bwana tumwambie tusaidie tumwambie Bwana asaidie jamii zetu wale ambao wamefungwa na mambo mabaya unaona ya kwamba hawana roho wa Bwana wameingishwa kwa mambo ambayo hampendezi Bwana mwambie Bwana nisaidie mulilie Bwana mwambie nisaidie saidia jamii yangu saidia taifa letu kama kuna mambo ambayo unaona haipendezi katika taifa letu mulilie Bwana mwambie Bwana nisaidie saidia taifa letu saidia jamii yangu saidia nisaidie masomo yangu angalia ile hali wakati mahali popote unamulilia Mungu kwa sababu ya lile jabu muite Bwana na yeye ni mwaminifu Daudi alimuita Bwana amlimulilia na wakaweza kuja na kumurejesha na sisi siku ya leo wakati tunamulilia Bwana tunajua ya kwamba kutakuwa na urejesho kama ni magonjwa tunajua siku ya leo wale walio wagonjwa wako hospitalini mahali popoto walipo tunamulilia Bwana tunamwambia ya kwamba let's to aza kuna wengine siku ya leo hauko pale hauna furaha tena ya wokovu kwa sababu ya mambo imekufinyilia mulilie Bwana siku ya leo mwambie Bwana let's to the joy of salvation in me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ mulilie bwana mwambie kusaidie katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwambie bwana asaidie wazazi wako kama wanapitia mambo mazito mambo magumu siku ya leo tume, tu, tunaona ya kwamba siku ya leo ni siku ya ukobozi siku ya leo ni siku ya kurejeshewa siku ya leo ni siku ya kupokea kutoka kwa bwana when we align our, our hearts with him yeye atakuja na tutredea atakuja na atatusaidia kwa sababu yeye ni mwaminifu angalia lile jambo linakusumbua 
litaje mbele za Bwana na ujue ya kwamba siku ya leo utapata kubarikiwa. Mungu na sasa tuweze kuomba pamoja na ninajua ya kwamba Mungu wetu atatusaidia hata tunapoendelea. Mungu wetu na baba yetu nasema ni asanti. Asanti kwa sababu ya wema na fadhili zako. Hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. Tunakuinua siku ya leo. Tunalihimidi jina lako mfalme. Mungu wetu na baba yetu. Kilio cha mio yetu ni ya kwamba Bwana usituondokee. Usiondoe roho wako ndani yetu. Abaya anayetusaidia, anayetuelekeza, anayetuongoza katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mungu pia tunakuomba usiondoe uzo wako kwetu. Tunaomba utuendelee kutuongoza kama vile mtumishi wako katika Exodus ya kwamba mfalme uwepo wako. Usituondokee. Endelea kuwa pamoja nasi. Utusaidie in challenges. Utusaidie katika hali ambazo tutaendelea kupitia katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asante kwa sababu yeye ni mwema. Walio wagojwa wanapokea uponyaji wao katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wale waja okoka siku ya leo wanapokea uokofu in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Abao wamefungwa siku ya leo wanapata ukobozi wao. Tunakuinua mfalme, tunalihimidi jina lako. Wale mfalme wamefinyiliwa na hari. Mungu wa leo kuna kuinuliwa siku ya leo na hata kuna kurejeshewa. Tunakuinua na tunalihimidi jina lako. Utusaidie na utuongoze kwa kila jabu. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Sote tuseme amen. Amen. Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu wakati tunakuja mbele zake tunamulilia tunarejesha uhusiano wetu na yeye yeye ataendelea kutusaidia yeye ataendelea kututia nguvu ataendelea kurejesha ile u, 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 fulaha fulaha ya wokofu ndani yetu na tutafurahia tukiwa ndani ya Mungu sio vizuri ukiwa ndani ya Mungu ni kama mtu ambaye ako na husuni kwa Mungu kuna fulaha wakati Mungu amekusaidia na Mungu anakuongoza kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu sana kwa hicho kipindi na tuna na endelea vizuri na kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu tutaalika praise team wakuje sasa watuongoze na nyimbo za kumsifu bwana wakati tunaomba mio yetu mili yetu tunakuwa na wepesi hata katika mawazo yetu mambo ambayo ilikuwa yanatusumbua kama ulikuwa mgojo unapokea uponyaji wako na unapata nguvu za kumsifu bwana kwa hivyo wakati huu tutaalika praise team wakuje watuongoze na nyimbo za kumsifu bwana na ninajua ya kwamba tunapomsifu bwana tutapata pia baraka za kumsifu bwana kwa sababu atafurahia akiwa jubi kwa hivyo wakati huu praise team karibuni mtuongoze na nyimbo za kumsifu bwana
tushagilie bwana pamoja very good kwa hivyo praise team mungu abariki awatende mema na wasidishie neema yake kwa sababu ye ni mwema na ni mwaminifu tunashukuru mungu sana kwa sababu ya hicho kipindi hicho kipindi ambao tumepita tumemsifu bwana tumepata baraka sa, sa kumsifu bwana na tunaendelea vizuri kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu tutaingia kwa kipindi cha presentation tuna watoto wetu ambao wamejiandaa vizuri wako na presentation ambazo wameandaa na ninajua ya kwamba tunapopokea zile presentation uweze kujiandaa pia pale nyumbani unaweza unaweza tayarisha presentation hata kama huwezi pata nafasi pengine ya kuja mahali kama hapa unaweza present ukiwa pale nyumbani unaweza present ukiwa pale shuleni na mahali pengine hata kama kuna watoto wamekusanyika mahali hata kama ni pale kwa estate ama mahali mnakaa in your residential area unaleta pamoja na mnashiriki ile presentation pamoja na inakuwa ya baraka kwa hivyo watoto wetu wa presentation tunawakaribisha mkuu from there. Karibuni sana. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Shalin Wanjiro. I'm born again and I have three memory verses. Welcome. Job chapter 20 verse 15. It says, he'll spit up the riches he swallowed. God will make his stomach vomit them up. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20. It says, you are my war club, my weapon for battle. With you, I'll shatter nations. With you, I'll destroy kingdoms. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 9, it says, We are hard plexed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Peace River Blood. I'm born again. I have two more verses. Welcome. Jeremiah 3, verse 3, it says, Call to me, and I will answer you. I will, I will tell you wonderful and marvelous things that you know nothing about. Psalms 4 verse 8, it says, When I lie down, I go to sleep in peace. You, you alone, O oh Lord, keep me perfectly safe. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Neymar Ngoi. I'm born again, and I have a one name in verse. Welcome. James chapter 5 verse 13, it says, Is anyone in trouble? He should pray. Is anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Prince Jess. I'm born again and I have a memory verse. Welcome. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 4 verse 3. It says, God wants you to be holy and completely free from sexual immorality. Thank you. Amen. Let's appreciate our total to presentation. Uh -huh. One, two. Uh, very good. So God bless you. Na andele kuwateda mema kwa sababu ye ni mwaminifu. Na jua hizo presentation simebaliki mio yetu. Na pia sitakuwa samsaanda tunapoendelea. Kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu, tumefika wakati muhimu. Pia wakulisikiza neno la buwana, uhai. Neno la buwana mkate wa uhai. Na ninajua ya kwa tunapo pata ule mkate. Tutapata kushiba katika tubo zetu sa kiloho tutapata kuinuliwa tutapata guvu za kushinda yale mambo ilikuwa imetulemea tunaposikiza neno tutapata stamina za kuendelea kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu ningetaka sasa uweze kujiandaa vizuri na your notebook uh -huh. mahali pa kukaa ukae vizuri mahali pa, ku, pa kuandika that is notebook uh, kalamu yako ya, kuwa, ya kuandika nayo pia biblia yako ili tunapoingia kwa mafundisho ya siku ya leo Ujue ya kwamba yale mambo tunasomeshwa tuna siku ya leo, tunafudisho, tunaelekezwa, utaandika vizuri pale kwa sababu baada ya our lesson today, tutakuwa na homework ili pia uweze kufanya homework yako vizuri bila matatizo yoyote kwa sababu utakuwa umenakiri kile mwalimu wanafudisha siku ya leo. Kwa hivyo, wakati hutu tamkaribisha mwalimu wetu ili atuelekeze kutoka hapo na ninajua ya kwamba tutaendelea kubarikiwa. Kwa hivyo, tumkaribisha mwalimu wetu ambaye atatuelekeza karibu mwalimu haleluya bwana asifiwe mtoto mtazamaji na kukaribisha sana katika awamu hii ya, ya kusikiliza neno la bwana na kujifundisha neno la bwana karibu sana naitwa ticha joseph nimeokoka yesu ni bwana na last week tulikuwa na ticha frida alitufundisha kuhusu living a life of purpose alitufundisha kuhusu a life of Papas. Sasa ningependa tufanye 
homework ama tuangalie marudio ambayo aliwapa kwa wale wadogo you are to draw and color queen esther and the king you are to draw and color queen esther and the king that was 10 marks kama ulifanya hivyo god bless you tujipigie makofi very good haya kwa wale wa upper classes question 1 according to our lesson what was esther's purpose as a queen according to our lesson what was esther's purpose as a queen her purpose was to defend the jews that was two marks her purpose was to defend the jews question number 2 state any three facts about purpose that was three marks god is our creator two he created each one of us uniquely number three he created each one of us for a purpose the third question Give any three ways in which we can realize our purpose. That was three marks. Number one, knowing our creator, God. Asking him through prayers to reveal his purpose for us. Number three, reading his word to know his will for us. Number four, discover and the and use the unique talent and gift the last question give at least two importance of living a purposeful life that was two marks the answers were we please our god our creator we glorify God through our lives. Number three, we get to our destinies. Number four, we enjoy life. We enjoy life. Kama uliandika ene tu, you have two marks. Siju mtoto ulipata ngapi? Ama webe mwanafunzi? That was good and may God bless you to jipigia makofi sasa kwa kufanya ka, kazi hiyo. God bless you. Sasa siku ya leo ningependa tuendele another topic ambayo tunaita becoming 10 times better. Sema becoming 10 times better. Ukisema 10 times Ni kusema mara kumi. What is the meaning of becoming better? Becoming better is, means more desirable, effective, and satisfactory. Is to be more desirable, effective, and satisfactory. Sasa mtoto siku ya leo, ningependa kukufundisha jinsi ya kukua bora zaidi kuliko wanafunzi wengine shuleni, kanisani, hata hapo kwa estate ama katika kijiji chenu. Na unaweza kuwa bora zaidi. Na tutajifundisha kuhusu vijana wanne ambao walikuwa bora zaidi walikuwa nini bora zaidi hebu rudia becoming 10 times better becoming 10 times better yani kuwa bora zaidi kama ni masomo unafanya vizuri huh? you know the seven mountains of influence huh? Number one is education, huh? religion. Yeah, we become better. Kwa sababu, Biblia inasema, uh, our children will become mighty in the land. 
ha? watoto wa watakatifu wanakuwa wakubwa ha? so wewe mtoto unafaa kuwa mtu mkubwa mighty in the land wewe ndio unafaa kuwa ile ofisi kubwa katika serikali yetu yes na nitakuonyesha jinsi ya kukua hivyo na siku ya leo tutajifundisha our story ha? a story in the book of Daniel chapter 1 verse 1 to verse 21 na hiyo story ni ya nani the story of Daniel Shadrach Meshach and Abednego in the king's palace na tutatumia a video ambayo tuta watch so mtoto kuwa very keen eh? kuna maswali nitakuuliza baada ya hiyo video ama baada ya fundisho hili ambalo tunajifundisha siku ya leo so kuwa very keen watch andika eh? hawa vijana wanne walibadilishwa majina utaona kuna mahali majina yao yalibadilishwa eh na uta watch Ebu watch and then tutaendelea. Hey super kids, welcome to back to the Bible. Our Bible story is about Daniel, found in the book of Daniel starting in chapter 1. King Nebuchadnezzar had just taken over Jerusalem and took the people back to the land of Babylonia. The king ordered his chief of staff to bring to the palace some of the young men who had been brought to Babylon as captives. Select only strong, healthy and good-looking young men, he said. Make sure they are well versed in every area of learning and are gifted with knowledge and good judgment. The king then assigned them a daily ration of food and wine from his own kitchens. They were trained there for 3 years. Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah were four of the young men chosen, all from the tribe of Judah. The chief of staff renamed them with these Babylonian names. Daniel was called Belshazzar. Hananiah was called Shadrach, Mishael was called Meshach, and Azariah was called Abednego. But Daniel was determined to obey God and not eat the food and wine given to them by the king. He asked the chief of staff for permission not to eat these unacceptable foods. Now God had given the chief of staff respect for Daniel, but he responded, "I am afraid of the Lord my king who has ordered you to eat this food and wine." If you become pale and thin compared to the other youths your age, I'm afraid the king is going to have me beheaded. Daniel spoke with the attendant and said, "Please test us for 10 days on a diet of vegetables and water. At the end of 10 days, see how we look compared to the other young men who are eating the king's food. Then make your decision in light of what you see." So, he agreed and tested them for 10 days. At the end of this test, Daniel and his three friends looked healthier and better nourished than all the other young men who had been eating the food assigned by the king. God gave these four men an unusual talent for understanding every part of literature and wisdom. And God gave Daniel the special ability to interpret the meanings of visions and dreams. When the training period was completed, the chief of staff brought all the young men to King Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them and no one impressed him as much as Daniel and his three friends so when they entered the royal service whenever the king needed consulted in any matter requiring wisdom and balanced judgment he found them 10 times more capable than anyone else in the entire kingdom super kids daniel knew what god had told him to do was the right thing daniel kept his roots in god and was blessed when you keep your roots in love You will be blessed. Thanks for watching. Wow, mtoto anajua umeendelea ku watch na umeendelea kubarikiwa. Umeona hawa vijana ambao walikuwa wa Jews, eh? Hawakukubali kuji defile na chakula cha nani? Cha mfalme. Umeona? Ah. Very good. So there there are keys ama ufunguo ama utakufanya ukue bora zaidi ufungua ambao utakufanya 
ukwe bora zaidi number 1 is righteousness number 1 is righteousness ukisoma hiyo kitabu katika kitabu cha Daniel Jan, Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine and he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself in the way Now God had caused the official to show favor and compassion to Daniel Ha huh? umeona Daniel hakukubali kuwa defiled ha huh? ama kunajisiwa na hivi chakula cha mfalme na hawa vijana wa nne katika palace ha? tumeona waliambiwa walisema watakula mboga yani vegetables na water walitumia nini vegetables and water very good hawakutumia chakula cha mfalme na katika hii training walikuwa eh, walikuwa ina take three years ilikuwa ina take how many three years na ukisoma katika ki, uh, in the same book verse 20 wacha tusome hapo in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king the king questioned them he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his whole kingdom imagine they were ten times better walikuwa na afya nzuri they were handsome ha? walikuwa hapa ha? they were very sharp na daniel tunaambiwa ya kwamba aliweza kuwa ana interpret dreams and visions bwana asifiwe so tumeona number one key number one. now what is a key tulisema ni ufunguo if you want to become ten times better than the other children than all the people have the key of righteousness and holiness yes like the three men ama the three young men Huh? walisema hata kama mfalme ana provide chakula kizuri na wine wao walisema sisi huh? kwa sababu sisi tunamtegemea Mungu wetu hatutakuwa wa, kama watoto wale wengine kama vijana wale wengine yes kuwa na righteousness and righteousness and holiness is right standing with God kama watoto wengine wame decide kwenda kufanya mambo huko wewe unasema ya kwamba kwa sababu mimi nimeokoka sitafanya hivyo kwa sababu other people wanaenda ah, wanaenda kufanya maybe ah, ku, ku, kucheza michezo mingine ambayo hata hairuhusiwi wewe unasema because i am a righteous person mimi sitafanya nini Sita engage on those activities. Number two is hard work. Hii ni bidii. Ukisoma katika kitabu cha Proverbs chapter 12 verse 24. Biblia inasema a diligent hand will rule. But laziness leads to forced labor. Praise be to God. Kama wewe mtoto ungependa ukue tajiri. Ungependa uajiri watu. Ama ungependa kuwa katika pale juu. Lazima ufanye bidii. Kwa sababu in a class of maybe 50 children kuna mmoja ambaye ataibuka kuwa wa kwanza. Ama atafanya bora zaidi kwa sababu ya nini he or she is working hard and working hard will bring a difference in your life mtoto so ukitaka kuwa na maisha mazuri ukitaka kuwa bora zaidi kuliko watoto wale wengine work hard amka mapema ha? jitayarishe 
e, nenda ukasome shuleni sikiliza mwalimu wako vizuri tia bidii katika masomo tia bidii kwa kazi yoyote ambayo umeaminiwa unajua kuna mtoto ambaye unamwambia a very simple task anaifanya tu kwa ulegefu anafanya kwa ulegefu that way you cannot become a better person in future si sisi wote tu biblia imetuambia we are going to become mighty in the land so we must work hard lazima mtoto uwe na bidii fanya bidii katika masomo yako katika jambo lolote unalo lifanya another key is making right decisions making right decisions in proverbs 14 verse 12 Biblia inasema there is a way that seems right to a man but the end thereof are the ways of death ama njia ambayo inaonekana ni nzuri machoni pa watu inayokuelekeza katika mauti ni mambo gani unaona katika in your estate katika maisha yako ha? ni mazuri so unafaa you make the right decisions kwa sababu The decisions you make today ama maamuzi ambayo wewe mtoto unaamua kuyafanya yana determine your future ukidecide to work hard you will have a better future ukidecide kufanya kazi kwa ulegefu ama kutoti mzazi wako Unajua Biblia inatuambia ya kwamba if you obey our parents uh, there are two promises uh, you are going to live a long life and it shall go well with you Bwana asifiwe so it's up to you to make the right decisions mtoto fanya maamuzi ambayo yatakusaidia If you engage in sexual activities our teenagers na wale wa hapa classes eh? hata wale wadogo uki make that decision it affect maisha yako eh? unaona katika runinga zetu tunaambiwa ya kwamba uh, pregnancies zimekuwa nyingi katika our teenagers bwana asifiwe ni kwa sababu ya nini ume make wrong decisions so mtoto if you want to become a better person if you want to become a better person make the right decision number four. number four. tunasoma keys uh, that will make you to become a better person is trusting in god Biblia inasema ya kwamba in Psalms chapter 20 verse 7 some trust in chariots some trust in horses but we trust in the name of the Lord our God Bwana asifiwe pia Biblia inasema in Proverbs 3 verse 5 do not lean on your own understanding usijitegemee but trust in God Watu wengi hata wewe mtoto waweza kuona ya kwamba kwenye you are better rough eh? wazazi wako na pesa but do not trust eh? hizo pesa trust god ambia Mungu ningependa kuwa a better person by trusting you kumtegemea nani Mungu Nilikufundisha wakati mwingine about Elijah Elijah alimtegemea Mungu na maisha ya Elijah ilikuwa na tofauti kwa sababu wakati alienda katika brook alikuwa na trust Mungu naye Mungu alikuwa anamletea anaamuru a raven ama kunguru amlete nyama na mkate every morning na jioni so mtoto if you want to become a better person trust in God if you want to become a better person trust in 
God kwa sababu watu wengi hawamtegemei Mungu wanajitegemea nguvu zao wanasema mimi ni mwerevu ha? hata wanajipiga kifua ha? hakuna mtu anaweza kunishinda yes but trust in God yeye ndiye anakupa nguvu ya kufanya chochote and through him you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you So what happens what happens when we become ten times better three things tutaangalia you manifest god's glory utukufu wa mungu unaonekana unaona kama how are the four young men shadrach meshach and abednego utukufu walionyesha utukufu wa mungu hata kama wa sometimes kama shadrach meshach and abednego walirushwa ndani ya moto a Mungu alijidhihirisha katika maisha yao. Daniel akatupwa ndani ya tundu la simba. Simba hawakumkula kwa sababu ya nini? Yeye alimsimamia Mungu. Ha? Alionyesha utukufu wa mu, wa Mungu. Hata wewe ukiwa shuleni, onyesha utukufu wa Mungu. Yes. Number two, you gain favor. You gain favor unapata kibali kama hawa the four young men walipata kibali machoni pa uh, king Nebuchadnezzar yes you also become a solution you become a solution kwa sababu Daniel alikuwa a solution baada ya kuinterpret vision ama dream ya mfalme so those are the importance of becoming ten times better you manifest god's glory you gain favor you become a solution very good mtoto sasa ningependa tuangalie our memory verse sema our memory verse in the book of hebrews chapter 1 verse 9 the bible says Tusome pamoja you love what is right and hate what is wrong that is why God your God has chosen you and has given you the joy of an honor for uh, an honor far greater than he gave to your companion Hebu turudie pamoja You love what is right and hate what is wrong that is why God your God has chosen you and has given you the joy of an honor far greater than he gave to your companion Hii verse inasema nini mtoto mtazamaji Hii inasema ya kwamba wewe ume hate eh? kama vile Mungu ana hate sin hata wewe kama mtoto wake hate sin ni kwa sababu ya nini aweze kukuinua juu ah huh? than your companion kama ungependa kuwa juu ama kuwa mbele ama kuwa bora zaidi kuliko watoto wengine wote eh hate yale mambo Mungu ana hate kuwa mtu righteous huh? katika jina la Yesu. Sasa pia wewe mtoto ambaye haujaokoka siku ya leo waweza kuwa become better. Number one, kwa kumpokea Yesu awe mokozi wa maisha yako so that unakuwa a righteous person. Eh? Unapata ile uh, unaanza kuwa na hard work, eh? unaanza kumtegemea Mungu kwa sababu Mungu ndiye sosi ya kila kitu ambacho tunahitaji hii dunia. So kama uko pale mtoto umesikiliza neno la Bwana, ungependa kukua kama hawa Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Ha? Uokoke umpokee Yesu awe mokozi wa maisha yako. Rudia ombi hili nyuma yangu na utaamini ya kwamba umeokoka. Sema Bwana Yesu Nimekuja mbele zako siku ya leo. 
kwa sababu nimesikia neno lako na ningetamani kuwa bora katika maisha yangu naomba unitakaze unisamehe kila uovu kila dhambi katika jina la Yesu roho mtakatifu ingia ndani yangu uniongoze unisaidie kuishi katika maisha matakatifu katika jina la Yesu naokoka na kuamini amen tumpigia Yesu makofi kwa sababu ya kukuokoa sasa umekuwa kiumbe kipya yale mambo yote ulikuwa unayafanya pale Mungu amekusamehea anza maisha mazuri anza kumtegemea Mungu anza kusoma neno la Bwana kuomba na hata kuhubiria wengine very good thank you sasa ningependa mtoto tuweze kufanya our homework si umeelewa mafundisho ya siku ya leo sasa ningependa kwa wale wadogo draw and color daniel shadrach meshach and abednego in the palace that is 10 marks uh, our dear parents you can download that copy on mbcimedia.com/kids and then you can give your child to color kwa wale wa upper classes in the king's palace the form hebrew hebrew men were served with dash and dash how vijana wanne walikuwa wanakula nini kwa mfalme eh? tumesema tu saa hizi question number two. give two keys that makes you become 10 times better give two keys that makes you 10 uh, times better that is four marks and then the third question the third question the four hebrew men were called aya daniel alikuwa anaitwa nani shadrach alikuwa anaitwa nani meshak alikuwa anaitwa nani abednego alikuwa anaitwa nani so uh, unafaa uandike how vijana they were also called tumeona ya kwamba walibadilishiwa majina so hayo majina andika hapo na ninajua ya kwamba utafanya hiyo kazi vizuri na Mungu akubariki sana sasa ningependa tutamatisha ibada yetu kwa maombi uh, funga macho yako tukaweza kuomba Mfalme na baba wa bingu tunasema ni asante kwa sababu ya ibada ya siku ya leo umetunenea to become 10 times better Baba ninabarikisha mtoto ambaye amesikiliza fundisho hili ninamwombea kuanzia siku ya leo neema yako ikamsaidia kuwa bora zaidi katika jina la Yesu Kristo katika masomo na katika hali ya kuelewa mambo wataweza kuelewa zaidi kwa sababu wewe ni uh, Mungu wa excellence katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu na bariki watoto wetu ambao wanatutazama siku ya leo na bariki maisha yao wiki hii walinde na ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na hata kuamini amen so god bless you see you kwa na wiki njema